Hey guys, I know some of you guys are out there are artists and uh, letterers, and I know that you probably are going to be trying to scan a lot of your artwork in and trying to select it and make it um, a PNG to where um, the background is all nice and transparent and you can stick it on any color you want. And it's just you get rid of all the gunkiness of it, um, just like the paper. If there's a wrinkle in the paper, it probably has a shadow when you scan it in. And I bet you guys probably have some ways to do it, but I'm going to show you how I do it. Um, if you have never really figured out the best way to do it. And this is an Affinity Designer, and we're going to be talking about that right after this. Okay guys, so right here before us we have a really nice lettered... Um, part of a song and um, of an actual carol for Christmas so um, and this was done by my older sister and it was for our little shop on Etsy and so if you guys want to check that out we have this one on it and we have a 2018 calendar and we have um, just different other ones that you might like um, so this this is one of them, and I'm going to be showing you how to do it since I was the uh, one that was editing it. My sister just lettered it, and then I edited it and made it look nice because they're all digital downloads on uh, Etsy. So you can just download it and print it off. And so, um, and so I had to make it all nice and clean. So right now, as you can tell, if I zoom up here, it does look a little bit dirty around the letters it just looks sort of messy and it's not that awesome of a scanner either else it would probably be better quality but um, it would still have that yuckiness around the edges um, so what we're going to do to do to to get rid of that is first we're going to come to select the layer that you want to get uh, rid of the or to uh, clean up and then come down here to adjustments and click on brightness and contrast so the first thing we're going to do is basically make this easier to see or easier to select so we're going to turn up the contrast quite a bit and turn down the brightness to about here okay and as you can tell when you zoom up a little bit more it's not quite as um, it's not quite as dirt, dirty down here. There we go. And that might not be how we like at the end because it sort of looks a little bit um, too contrasty, but we'll change it at the end. So then click off of that, and then you're going to come down here again and get a new one that's called black and white. We're going to make this black and white so it's easier to. Um, to select all of them. So we're going to turn all these ones to the darkest. Let they go. So it's just all really dark. Okay. And we'll stick this right under the background. Or stick it inside the background. You just hover over it right here and it should go right inside like that. Okay, so now we got a nice contrasty black and white one uh, image. And so first things first, we're going to go to the pixel persona right up here in the left top. And so it should change all the tools on the side. We won't be messing with very many of these, just one, I think. And then we're going to go down here, select our the layer that we're going to be selecting and then click select up here at the top menu and then click select sampled color okay and then it'll automatically come up with um, a default selected color but you can select a new color by just um, selecting one with the little cursor so I'm gonna zoom up on some of these pixels and see um, what like the top one is to get rid of so probably like that I'm gonna select that little color right there and then I'm going to 
Um, and do that. Okay, so now it's selected everything basically. And don't worry if it selected all this stuff. We're going to get rid of all that selection. Um, so like if um, if you're selecting in the gray and there's another part of your project that is really gray, then um, you're going to go down here to your select your manual select button or uh, a tool, not button, and then you can make this bigger with the bracket brackets like this. And then I'm going to come make sure it's on subtract. And then I can come down, down here and um, de deselect some of this stuff. I'm actually going to deselect all the way around and then I'll be back to show you some more right after. Okay, so now that I've um, selected all the way around, um, I'm going to go ahead and click delete on a Mac or backspace on a Windows, and um, and now it deleted all the colors. So now it's nice and it has the nice background for if you want to do PNG. It's a nice um, clear background, except for around here where I selected and uh, subtracted that uh, thing and the reason I did it all the way around, even though lots of the leaves were black and they uh, or weren't completely selected, was um, because some of them were going to be deleted if I click delete. So I just did it all the way around just to make it simpler for me. So I didn't have to try to think about which ones. And so now that after we're done with this, I'm going to hit Command D to deselect it or Control D on a Windows to deselect it, and then we're going to come up here and click on select sample color again and this time we're gonna select a uh, perfect white the exact perfect white that we can find and we're going to do that and then we're gonna click apply and now we're gonna hit delete and that should get rid of the rest the rest of the the white without deleting some of these nice nice branches so um, that's how you select it all now you just hit deselect and then you come over here and let's click off of this and we can go ahead and change what we want to so I'm going to go ahead and change this to the brightness turn turn the bright brightness actually down a little bit there we go maybe make the contrast down a little bit too I don't know I don't know which one I like better but yeah and then we can uh, go back to adjustments and I love the adjustments they're so awesome so easy to delete it's not like it's permanent you can just easily delete them and add them and so I'm going to turn up the vibrance to make these leaves really pop and so that's about all so I got all this gunk out of there and there's still a little bit of chunks right over here like the darker ones and with that there's just barely any so you can just come over here to the erase tool and click on this layer and just go ahead and erase those and it usually doesn't take you very long um, to just quickly erase those. So, um, that, I guess that's going to be it for this tutorial. And so, I want you guys to, in the comments below, I want you guys to leave a comment. Tell me what you guys did during the holidays. Um, I, I was actually with my family, and it was really awesome. We had a great time. And um, here in uh, near Dallas, Texas. So, Tell me what you guys did, and then um, if you haven't subscribed, I would really um, recommend you subscribe because 
I put, I'm, this new year I've made a New Year's resolution to put out a video every Saturday. So you can count on that. And um, I hope you enjoyed this video. And I'll see you in my next tutorial.